I'm Jill Wellington, and I'm going to show you how to use my free haze overlays. This is one of my most popular blog posts, and I can understand why, because I use these haze overlays in my professional photography all during the summer, whenever I'm shooting somebody outdoors. Now, first of all, bring your picture that you want to play with and your haze overlay into your palette in Photoshop. I'm using CS6. Then we're going to go up and click on the haze overlay and pull it down. And go up to your move tool, click on that. Now click on the picture while holding down, drag it right over the other picture. You don't need this anymore, so go ahead and X out of it. Now, remember we said that we wanted the haze to be coming from the right direction, but this overlay, it's coming from the left. That's very easy to change. Just simply flip it, pull this over, cross the center line, and now we can easily pull it over, and you'll see that now it's coming from the right side. And if you have a portrait, you can just turn it this way too. However, wherever the haze is that you want it to be, you can easily maneuver that around but just pull these corners so that it covers your photo and then click on apply. Now go up to your layers palette and right above it you'll see your blend modes. It says normal. Click on that. Go down and select screen from your drop down menu and now you can see the subject peeking through the beautiful haze and go ahead right next to, to the screen button is your opacity slider and play with that see where you how high up you want the haze or how low I actually like the hot haze up high I'm gonna have it on 80 now I want to erase some of the haze off of her face so let's add a layer mask go down to the bottom of your layers palette and click on this button with the square and the little circle in the middle and now you've created a layer mask. You can see it right here on this layer. It's this white square. In order to erase, we need a black soft brush. So go over here to the bottom of your tool bin and you can use these arrows to toggle between the white and the black. You want the black on top. Go up, grab your brush, click on it, and make sure you have a soft edge brush. And now you can play with the opacity. The opacity slider up here controls your brush. So I'm going to have it, we'll have it like on 55 the way it is. And I'm going to enlarge my brush by using my right bracket key. And now just click on that and start painting some of the haze off my subject. I'm not going to click it off the hair because that's where you would expect to see it. So notice I'm kind of keeping to the left of her face, letting that side continue to have the beautiful haze and brush that off. I think that looks just lovely. Let's go ahead and look at before and look at what it does after. I think that adds a dreamy glow to your summer portraits. So enjoy this.